Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous Beyond. Now, you may be a naughty commander. You may have done something wrong, or by mistake, you might have shot a ship that you might not have. In which case, you've incurred some notoriety. Now, we're going to discuss this, break it down, and see how you can get rid of it. So, notoriety then. What is it? Well, I'll tell you exactly what it is from the definition that's found on the internet. Notoriety is a statistic dragged in relation to crime and punishment that was introduced in Chapter 1 of Elite Dangerous Beyond. Now, it's tied directly to pilots, whereas bounties are tied directly to whatever ship was used to commit the crime. As a pilot, commander commits crimes, especially murder, their notoriety will increase. Pilots who attain high notoriety levels will attract the attention of more powerful, advanced tactical response units. Not to mention, as well, the difficulty in found in docking with ports and not getting opened fire upon. And that's all well and good. Now you may incur notoriety from shooting the wrong person or, you know, coming into contact with somebody and just killing them outright because you think oh, I want to improve my elite dangerous rating I want to get to elite how am I going to do this and you pick off some of the easier targets that committing crime of murder is going to get you notoriety within the game elite dangerous now notoriety is measured on a scale from 1 to 10 with the naughty commander gaining one point for each murder they commit now there are two ways to reduce notoriety the first if a criminal pilot is defeated while one of their bounties has been detected, they will respawn at a nearby detention centre. Now a lot of us would have seen this, especially if you were there at the Genosis missions when there was a bug, the th Thargoids attacked, we went out, we ended up going to defend the Genosis, we shot lots of Thargoids you might have missed, hit the Genosis, whap you in the detention centre. Frontier fixed that. But a lot of us have found it really by taking on commanders, for example, who may have just got in the way, uh, may have sort of like taunted us, that sort of thing, or have been just damn outright naughty people. And as a result of which, if you've been naughty, you've got that notoriety. So you'll get in the detention center, um, you'll respawn there, you'll get a clean slate after being forced to pay off all accumulated bounties in addition to their ship rebuy cost. So that's how you do it. You die, basically, um, and you come back with a clean slate. Or say when you die, no you don't, you just get respawned. The whole idea of being out in an escape pod from your ship ejecting has been the thing. So the second way to get rid of notoriety is over time. Now notoriety will decay on its own at a rate of one point every two hours. And that's just not time, that's game time. That's time logged into the games. You can't just go, I've got notoriety, I'm going to log off, go away, have a cup of tea, have a sandwich, go and watch Game of Thrones, whatever. Come back, ah, my notoriety's gone, my log back on. No, that game has got to be running. Now, you can be docked as well. So you haven't got to be out in the wild dodging people. So that's one good way of doing it. Just dock at a nice station, wait till notoriety has, has worn off and pay off your fine. Now you can pay off your fine at interstellar, interstellar factors. Interstellar factors can be found by going to the galaxy map, clicking on the galaxy map and putting it into map mode. Once in map mode, you can select interstellar factors from one of the selections and it will highlight it in green, the systems that have got an interstellar factors um, option for yourself. Make your way over there, land, don't get shot, park yourself up, wait two hours, pay the fine, and you're back into the game. No problem at all. So living with notoriety, the notoriety system does give the actions of the player more weight, but requires planning and understanding of the underlying mechanics of the game. So since bounties are in most cases tied to a faction, leaving the jurisdiction of the faction that has a bounty on the player also removes the wanted status until the player re-enters the faction's jurisdiction. So effectively, you cause or commit a crime within the Federation. You leave Federation space, the Imperials didn't give two hoots about it, all right? But once you get back into Federation space, you're gonna have to pay the piper. Now, on the other hand, if a player has a galaxy-wide bounty, such as opposed to a local bounty, they can expect to have to deal with lots of NPC bounty hunters and possibly other players too, if you're playing it open. 
that inhabit the system that they currently visit. Now, shooting down things like skimmers and destroying turrets and generators give bounties, but don't increase your notoriety. Scanning private data points and trespassing in restricted zones also does not lead to notoriety gain, but killing clean ships that shoot the player while they are wanted does. So even if you're defending yourself, if that people, if those people, bounty hunters, are coming after you, are clean, clean bounty hunters, then you will incur additional notoriety by defending yourself and shooting them. So if they're wanted, you don't. Generally speaking, notoriety is gained by committing violent actions against other clean ships. Killing clean ships in an anarchy system does not lead to notoriety gain, however. Likewise, killing wanted ships in non-anarchy system, non-bounty hunter, does not lead to notoriety gain either. So, what are they saying? So, in an anarchy system, if you kill a clean ship, you'll get away with it. In a non-anarchy system, and you kill a wanted ship, you're not going to get any notoriety. So, there it is. Wait two hours parked at the star point, that will clear your notoriety. You can also respawn then in a detention centre. Pay the fines, that will reduce your notoriety, give you a clean slate. Now, one thing with the waiting two hours per point is fair enough with a modern day PC, you can just keep the game running, you can press tab, get back, go about your business, play another game if your machine is up to it. Now, if you're playing this on a console, this might irritate your significant other if you're using the main TV. And I say that if they want to watch Emmerdale Farm, EastEnders, Dallas, God knows whatever these people watch, and you've got some notoriety, your Xbox or PS4 is going to have to be online and active. You can still be parked at a station, you can still get on and watch television, but that machine's going to have to be on as well. So how productive are you going to be? It doesn't really cut down productivity on a PC, but you know, it's going to mean you're going to have to be sort of like having that machine on, you know, whirring away um, while your notoriety decreases. So there you go. If you haven't already done so, put that like and subscribe button and also look out for that notification and ring that notification bell so you'll let me know whenever I'm putting new videos of Elite Dangerous and other games on YouTube. Other things to recap on as well, if you kill clean ships in an anarchy system, you do not get notoriety. Killing wanted ships in a non-anarchy system does get no notoriety. And let's face it, this is down to punish players for ganking other players. But it's also in the solo game as well, so the game mechanic is there. I've also got a video online as well about crime and punishment. Take a look at that. That's quite good as well. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description. But thanks very much for watching. And um, fly safe out there. And don't be a naughty commander. Or the notoriety demon will come and get you. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Ricardo. This has been a video about notoriety. And I'll see you out there in the black.